In this Revit tutorial, I'm going to talk about how you can edit the wall properties. Um, I'm just looking at the floor plan level one view of my building. Um, and we're just going to look at sort of how a wall is constructed in Revit and how you can uh, manipulate that and change it if you want to or need to. I'm just going to pick one of my interior walls. So I have a basic wall interior five inch partition, a two hour wall right here. Maybe I want to go in and make a change to that for some reason. Well, what I can do is go into Edit Type on the Properties palette. When I get into the Type Properties of the wall, you'll see that it's showing me the family up at the top. So it's a system family. It's one of Revit's system families. It's a basic wall. It happens to be an interior wall, 5-inch partition, 2-hour. Um, and if I hit the drop down here, you'll see that there's all these other wall types available to me that um, come with the software. Below that we have the type parameters including the structure of the wall, um, the graphic display options, and that type of thing. If I want to go in and actually change how the wall is constructed, what I need to do is go into the structure and edit right here. I'm also getting a preview of how this wall is constructed over on the left. Um, if I'm going to make any changes to it or anything like that, it would be very smart for me to go in and duplicate it. With something like walls, this is incredibly important uh, because let's say, for example, I was working on a large project and I use this interior 5-inch partition wall all over the place. If I make a change to it, uh, it will change everywhere in my entire model. If that's what I want, that's great and it's really handy, um, but if I just wanted to change this one wall, for example, that could cause a lot of problems. So I'm going to hit duplicate and in this case I will just call it interior demo. Maybe I'll even make that all caps just so it's easy for me to see so I know this is a, a wall that I went into and made some changes to uh, for the point of illustration. So then once I've renamed it, I'm going to go in and say edit. When you hit the edit button, it brings you into the uh, st structure of the wall and all the different things we can do to it. What you'll see here is a menu that illustrates all the different layers of the wall. The top is the exterior side of the wall and then the bottom is the interior side of the wall. Then within that you'll see that there are basically seven layers. In the center, we have the structural part of the wall. This is the metal stud layer, and in this case it happens to be two and a half inches thick, and it is structural. Then we have the core boundary. If you remember back to um, the wall properties um, tutorial, we talked about how you can locate walls to different lines, and this would be uh, the core section. So the core is the structural part, and then on the outsides of that, on the interior and exterior side, we have um, the finish layers, in this case, gypsum wall board, so drywall, very standard, especially on in an interior wall. This wall that I have chosen, the five inch two hour door, happens, or wall rather, happens to have um, two layers of drywall on each side. Um, a one hour wall would just have the one layer. Um, if we wanted to add to this or change it, we certainly can. So just for the point of illustration, let's say I wanted to go and say the metal stud layer wasn't two and a half inches thick, maybe I'll make it three and a half. Okay, so once I do that, you'll see that up above here the total thickness changed from five inches to six and my preview changed. So now this wall is an entire inch thicker. Uh, you can imagine how that would make a very big difference in a large project. I could also uh, add or remove uh, drywall layers. Uh, if I clicked on this finish layer here where I have an extra layer of drywall, I could say that I'd like to delete that and if I look at the preview, now there's only one layer of drywall on this side and there's two on the other. If I came up to the top and I said I'd like to insert another layer, you'll see that it gives me the option to insert another layer on this exterior side. I can click where it says Structure 1 and hit that drop down menu. When you do that, you'll see that there are a variety of different types of functions that you can have going from the most important, a Structure 1, 
down to a substrate layer, thermal air layer, and then finish one, finish two, and membrane. So it's basically order of importance, um, structure down to a membrane layer. If I wanted this to be another finished drywall layer, for some reason I wanted it on that side, I could just say finish two, and then I could even change the material um, to the gypsum wallboard, um, you know, something that I'll get into more heavily in the future. But we can actually change all the materials here. Once the material browser loads, I can just scroll down. It's in alphabetical order. And I could just say that I'd like that to be gypsum wallboard. Okay. And like I said, I'll talk more about that in depth in another video. And I could change the thickness from zero, which, well, doesn't really exist, to maybe zero feet, zero and five inches oops there we go and now you can see that there's another layer of drywall on that side so you can come through and customize your walls how they're built very precisely in the edit assembly mode um, when you're editing the type of wall uh, once you get it how you like it you can just say okay and now this wall will be in place of the one that I had selected so I'll say okay again and now here is my new um, created wall and you can see this one's just slightly thicker than the ones on either side because these are that basic wall interior 5 inch and now this is my interior demo wall that happens to be um, a little bit thicker so that's the basics of how you can either edit an existing wall or essentially create your own that suits the needs of your project.